Look at those hollow tubes in that punk wood. Big, long, hollow tubes, voids. Is it any wonder that a spark will ignite that and continue to grow and grow? We'll take this label here, turn it towards the sun because this backside is open. Photon's gonna come through this round through about four to six inches of water and come out that round. Instead of tilting it this way, you wanna tilt it towards the sun. Find it on your finger first. Which that's it right there. And this will not take long. Let me get some leaves off the ground now and we'll go ahead and start our fire. And the water in this bottle will, we'll turn it into coffee. And it's spreading really well, like good punk wood does. Constant aeration. That's what these dampish leaves need. I hear the flames whipping around, but let's give it a little bit more. And some white oak for sustained heat. Now, let's let that cook a little bit. Let's give that about 10 minutes. Loosen a lot of heat out the side of that stove. But there's still enough coming out of the top to where it should make that water boil very well.
human windscreen. The fastest way to get a bowl is when those flames are licking the pot. Well, the steam's about to blow that lid off. Got a good bowl. Now, I like to just put a big heaping tablespoon of coffee in there and stir it around and let it steep for 10 minutes. No, that's not the way you make cowboy coffee. That's the great way to make coffee and it's a whole lot less hassle. Works just fine. When it comes time to pour it in the cup, you just do a slow pour and all the grounds stay in the bottom. So, let's go ahead and start cooking some eggs. Toast. See how it's going to position in there. Yeah, we squeeze it in there. We squeeze it in there. Got it squeezed in there. Let me throw some more fuel on the fire. Yes, of course, you're going to need a windscreen. Anytime you cook with a stove like this, it has that many holes in the side of it. Unless you just want to be a human windscreen and stand in front of the wind. Yep, that's done. Now that pan is way too hot to start cooking eggs on. Let's go ahead and take it off the heat. Let it cool a little bit. Yeah. We'll let that cool a little bit before we even put butter in it. Cause I don't like my eggs to be all burnt up and brown and black. I like for them to be, the whites to be good and bright white and the yellows to be uh, bright yellow. So that sucker needs to cool way down. Let me do a slow pour with backhanded so you can see there's no grounds getting in there. Try to get out of the sun so you might be able to see better. I got a good view and I don't see any grounds going in that coffee cup because they're all saturated, saturated, sunk to the bottom. A little bit of honey. Oh man, that was good coming off of that spoon. I mean, it is rich and dark. That's the perfect cup of coffee. Let's see if our pan is cooled down enough. Oh yeah, it's cooled off enough. We put our eggs on there.
got a leaning table. We'll turn the pan around. Now, let's let that gently cook, slowly cook, and if it looks like it's getting too hot, we'll take it off the heat. Eggs should never be cooked hard on a high heat. Always cook eggs on a low heat. First egg is done. Nice and gently cooked. Let that pan cool off just a little bit. And this gets some pepper. We'll be eating here in a little bit. We're going to be eating here right now. Lord, thank you for this food. Thank you for a beautiful, gorgeous day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Mmm. Tender. That black pepper tastes good. Plenty of salt in the butter that I used to cook that in. Since I've given up salt, I no longer can eat some of my favorites like bacon and bologna and chips of all kinds, even lightly salted uh, popcorn. I can't stand the taste of that much salt anymore. So just the salt that's in the butter to cook these eggs in is enough. And then we know there's butter on the toast too. So good. Well, as we thought going into this, this stove loses tremendous amounts of heat through the side. I really had to keep fueling it and fueling it and fueling it. Who wants to fool with a windscreen? Especially when you have swirling winds, winds might be blowing in this direction and 10 seconds later blowing in this direction. So it's doable to use an Ikea stove to cook on, but it, it's, you know, it's not really practical. But it was an enjoyable experiment. A very enjoyable experiment. That's done. Let's see. And once again, you're just gonna take this, just take and wipe that cast iron skillet out. And it's ready to go for the next time. Hi, right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.
This is so incredibly good. You wouldn't believe how good this is. Tender, succulent fried eggs, not overcooked. Nice, crunchy, buttery toast. Some of the best black pepper you can buy. So good. We'll catch you on the next one.